we're loafing along at 100 miles per hour or so in fourth apparatus when I nail the gas. There's a murmur of air as the relentless 8.0 liter 16 chamber motor behind my shoulders takes a full breath, and the Bugatti Chiron rushes at the skyline. I make the main move at correctly 6,556 revolutions per minute. Four turbochargers are directing 26.8 pounds per square inch of lift, swallowing 35 cubic feet of air each second, and putting 2,866 pounds of pinnacle weight on each interfacing pole. The water pump is coursing coolant through the motor sufficiently quick to fill your bath in 11 seconds. At totally open throttle, the fuel pump will suck the 26.4 gallon gas tank dry in around 7 minutes. With startling suddenness, we're completing 200 miles per hour. Bugatti engineers say the Chiron will quicken from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2.5 seconds, to 124 miles per hour in under 6.5 seconds, to 186 miles per hour in under 13.6 seconds. From the driver's seat, riding the military spec push of 1,479 pull and 1,180 pounds to foot of torque in conjunction with all-wheel drive and huge tires, it feels each piece at fast. Out and about the Chiron's best speed is electronically constrained, restricted, to 261 miles per hour it will go speedier. The Chiron will effectively beat the Veyron Super Sport's 268 mile per hour generation Auto V Max record, demands Bugatti manager Wolfgang Derheimer, however, he won't state by how much. We're keeping that a shock for you, he grins. The Bugatti Chiron is completely exceptional, and not on the grounds that it's speedier and more capable than the auto that has been the benchmark for hypercar speed and muscle for over 10 years, the Bugatti Veyron. Or then again on the grounds that it costs a cool $2,998,000, counting goal, you'll be satisfied to know. No, the Chiron resets the benchmark since it's likewise smoother, more refined and, urgently, more enjoyable to drive than its storied antecedent. The Veyron was an auto to a great extent characterized by push and speed. The Chiron adds deafness and identity to the blend, upgraded by a mindful melange of innovation and extravagance. For the Chiron's creation, the short given by Ferdinand Peach, backup parent of the Veyron, to Durheimer and his group was basic, make it better, inside and out. <laughs>